Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video. I hope that you're enjoying your morning thus far and we're going to be talking about both of these disturbances. We've still got our Caribbean system, we'll be looking at that and we'll be talking about this next one as well highlighted in orange which is given that medium chance of development. So let's get straight into it and here we're looking at the satellite imagery. There we can see all that activity associated with a front and it's likely that that airflow pressure is going to form and we'll see it getting detached from the front and then uh, it could acquire those tropical characteristics potentially becoming a subtropical cyclone later this week so that is still anticipated and the formation chance has risen since my previous update so it is now up to 50 percent so uh, with that chance continuing to increase and the system actually getting itself together then we could definitely see formation take place and of course the next name on the list is vince and i as i said yesterday i really think that this will likely become vince over the next couple of days now let us make our way into the Caribbean, we're taking a closer look at the region and take a look at this. So there is all that activity uh, that was in association with the Disturbance 99L, but as we can see, a lot of that has diminished. Now that is the work of the dry air, with dry air infiltrating, uh, every time there are those bursts of convection, what we see is that they just fall apart after some time, and that is exactly what's happened. And we're likely to see another one pop up later today, and then it will eventually fall apart as well. So with that continuous uh, cycle, it is unlikely that we will see any development out of the area but across most other parts of the caribbean it's pretty much dry and quiet right now with a couple of showers moving in some heavy downpours across parts of tobago and even moving into trinidad as well last night st vincent there was a lot of activity moving through and there are a couple of showers as well noted in the vicinity of puerto rico and the virgin Islands, and even down into the vicinity of the abc islands as well now as it relates to the rainfall forecast for today let's go ahead and take a look at that and here we go so there we can see that this map is pretty colorful across some areas trinidad tobago as i said there is some rainfall activity moving in so there may be some heavy downpours at times and uh, even uh, these periods of heavy rain can actually induce some level of flooding so please stay safe as you go throughout today looking across northern south america across sections of colombia venezuela as well as the guyana there could be some shower activity maybe not anything too major though abc allen similar story there could be some showers as we head through today and then as we go up into the vicinity of most of the lesser antilles we're seeing that much is not expected uh there could be some showers passing through portions of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico today. Things are on the quieter side for Haiti, the Dominican Republic, as well as Jamaica and much of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, up into the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Then as we head over into the vicinity of Central America, similar story, there could be some showers popping up here and there, but overall, today is likely to be a pretty sunny day across most areas. But then as we head down to portions of Nicaragua, going to Costa Rica and Panama, there is a greater probability of experiencing some rainfall activity across some areas as we head through today. So that is what is forecast in terms of the rainfall, guys. And so now let's go ahead and talk more about the disturbances. So invest 99L in the Caribbean. You can see that that airflow pressure is located to the south of Hispaniola. That's going to be drifting to the west over the next couple of days. And right now it is in an environment where the wind shear, the upper level winds, are actually conducive. So if it wasn't for the dry air, uh, we would definitely be seeing something completely different right now but thankfully that dry air is in the area that is helping to suppress any substantial development of the system matter of fact let's go ahead and take a look at those conditions here we are with the dry air map those areas of yellows oranges reds that uh those are indicative of all of that dry air so you can see that there is some dry air across uh portions of the lesser antilles as well much of the caribbean really that's helping to stabilize conditions out there there's not a whole lot of instability to result in widespread convection and then in the vicinity of the disturbance we're definitely seeing that dry air intrusion taking its toll as we saw there's hard Hardly any convective activity seen on satellite imagery and there's a lot more ahead of the system so should it sustain enough activity as it approaches uh, Central America then it could be a rainmaker 
But aside from that, I'm not expecting anything substantial to become of the system. Now, looking at the wind shear map, here we go. And as I said, uh, the shear is conducive right now in the Caribbean. We can see those red, yellow, and green lines. Those red lines indicate unfavorable shear. Yellow means neutral, while green means favorable, meaning that those upper level winds aren't too strong and uh, they aren't interfering with whatever it's trying to develop. So there we can see that right now across the South Caribbean, that shear is actually conducive to allow for development. But it's not just about the shear or the warm water. Waters. Other environmental conditions, in this case the dry air, also help to influence development. But once everything is conducive, that is when we definitely see something getting itself together, eventually becoming a tropical cyclone. But again, only a 10% chance of that happening in the South Caribbean as of right now. That is what is going on this morning, guys. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be weather wise.